This property is located around 28 kilometres from Dirabandi, 55 k's from Mungandai and roughly 84 kilometres from St George. The freehold block of approximately 4,909 hectares or 12,131 acres comprises highly productive Coolabar floodplain country with black and grey self-mulching soils, growing Mitchell grass and other natives with herbages in season. The remainder is lightly sandy loam soils with areas of heavy timber, including extensive cypress pine, and is growing good stands of buffalo grass throughout. Just over 2,000 acres are currently cultivated, with 700 acres, that's less than seven years old, that has been levelled. The potential exists for further large-scale cultivation areas with light clearing. New netting fence was installed along the western boundary in 2021, whilst exclusion fencing was added to the southern boundary in 2016. Ten internal paddocks are subdivided with fencing in fair to poor condition. With a yearly average annual rainfall of approximately 460 mm, the property has eight stock dams of various sizes and a capped bore supplying 70,000 litres daily through a 75 mm high pressure poly pipeline to three tanks with a total capacity of 66,000 litres. These gravity feed to 12 stock troughs to provide permanent water in every paddock. A quarry of approximately 150 acres has red rock to 1 to 1.5 metres, with white rock below this level, and is currently only used for on-property purposes. However, it has the potential for income production if the appropriate legal requirements were adopted. Structural improvements, some in need of repair, include a main homestead, cottage, shearer's quarters, shearing shed and sheep yards, workshop, storage shed and old wooden cattle yards. After 70 years as custodians, the family have decided it's time to disperse the asset for succession planning. This property offers huge potential for future development, more farming and more intensive grazing, as demonstrated by other holdings in the Golden Triangle area around Dirranbandi. Please call for further information.